Texas and Washington seems to me like the kind of game that everyone had a knee-jerk take on as soon as the seeding was announced. Texas versus Washington. Mm-mm, that may be a mismatch. Really? Yeah, man, Texas. Come on now, gotta, gotta favor the horns, don't you? McConaughey, etc. The Undertaker, etc. Well, give me some football-related reasons. And I heard crickets. I have spoken. Well, some of, my, some of my Texas brethren are deadly concerned about this game, but some, you know, more agnostic fans just watching the game lean Texas hard, and it was all cause of brand. Because when you zoom in on it, it's not, let me whisper this now, it's not the best matchup in the world for Texas. I just want to throw it out there. And everyone knows I hate Washington. Obviously, it's been well established that every youth who grows up in West Central Georgia despises the Washington Huskies. So, joking. So if even I'm saying that, there must be some validity here. So Texas is top five run defense in the country. Washington doesn't care. Washington couldn't care less, which is right below could care less. And by the way, and I'm saying that because Washington does not run the ball to win anyway. However, however, they did against Oregon. Oregon featured themselves a top 10 run defense outfit as well. And Washington said, really? Well, we're going to outrush you. They, they put 157 up on the ground, two touchdowns. So Washington found a way to run, but it's not what we expect from them. So if you get it from them on the ground, it's kind of a bonus. The reason why I said it's not the best matchup in the world for Texas is the purple team here comes in with the number one passing offense in America, and Texas is sitting there with a 96th rated pass defense in America. So as you can see, we, we got square pegs and round holes as I'm trying to figure out matchup advantages for Texas, but that doesn't mean there aren't advantages for Texas. They're favored at FanDuel right now by four and a half for two reasons. One has to do with brand. Uh, there, there are people at FanDuel and elsewhere who understand we could put Texas minus a million out here, and there is a portion of the population that is ready to bet Texas. Kind of like a Dallas Cowboy game, for example. However, there's another reason Texas is favored, and that is because they have an athletic edge on Washington. They have home field. They're playing this thing in New Orleans. I, we, producer Jesse and I were trying to guesstimate the crowd split today. 75-25 is just the starting point for me. And I don't think the... I don't think the Airlines are doing any favors to our friends in the Pacific Northwest, by the way. I'm all, I'm all about Alaskan Airlines. Love them. Just wish that they'd meet our friends up there in the Pacific Northwest in the middle a little more on pricing and availability. You know, I, I don't want to get on my soapbox about how the airline industry does not cater more to its customer than it does. Like, this is a unique circumstance. Okay, I don't know what the daily Seattle to New Orleans traffic is, but for there not to be special flights just over a two-day period, knowing full well you'd sell them out as soon as you put them on sale, is beyond me. The airline industry has never gotten on board with the unique demand that rises when you have sporting events like this, especially in college football because you've got folks who really want to travel. Anyway... The home field notwithstanding, this athletic edge notwithstanding. I mean, this isn't the first time Washington's going to be the second most talented team on the field this year, I promise you. Like I said against Oregon, and like I'll say against Texas, it really doesn't matter how many other positions you have them out talented. If their receivers go off, you're in trouble. And they possess the ability to do it anytime you step on the field with them. So that is what we have to look forward to last week. Colin just 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 kind of casually throws Roma Dunze up there, who um, would be the best wide receiver on pretty much any team he was a part of. He's one. I got two or three other ones right there that can really mess you up if you're a secondary. And that's one that's rated in the top 25. Texas, nowhere near that. So Texas has their work cut out for them. Here's the good news. Texas can score. Texas, on their side offensively, is probably facing the equivalent of a middle-of-the-pack Big 12 defense. I know that'll find its way onto a bulletin board or a hype video or whatever. That's fine. I'm speaking in terms of statistic. That's what Washington defensively has been this year. They're, they're right 50th points per game allowed, 122nd in pass yards per game allowed. Texas should be able to have success 
as well. If this is a game where Washington's going to get into the upper 30s on you, you should be able to get into the 40s on them. And if you can't, you may not deserve to win the game. That's my take there.